Okay, so it's the LDK we're live. project. Yeah. We're live. I think the, yeah, we're live. This but is the uh, LDK project. That sounds dope. Ledic project. <laughs> no. I banged my tooth on the microphone already. It's, all right. it's a good start. No, I think this is like a good place to start. What do we want to talk about first? Do we want to talk oh, about... Oh, the, wor- the Mandarin word. You, you want to go straight in and talk about this guy we that's just been fired? We were literally just talking about that. Yeah, no, so let's, let's talk let's about it. Why? I think we should touch People upon it. People already know it's what we're talking such, about now. Yeah, it's such a... It's such a fucking mental story in and of itself, exactly. and I think it's good for us to call out. Was it was it USC or USC? USC. Yeah, fucking good. USC. I think it's good to call it USC. Yo, USC is University a of Southern. I Chinese. think they're going. I'm not sure, but I like loads of my clients are from oh. USC, and I also think they might be going bankrupt. They're yeah. losing a lot of money right now. But um, do you, Lenny, do you want to tell the story that we're going to start with yes. today? What we're going to complain S- about? Well, I guess I'll start with the. I was introduced to this word my freshman year in college and in New York at NYU and I had a lot of Mandarin friends I mean excuse me Taiwanese friends who spoke Mandarin and they would repeatedly say this word naga and I started giggling because you know it sounds like a certain word that we all don't want to say Mm because it's a horrible word but um, it's a filler word which means like uh, like you know in Mandarin uh, yeah yeah <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry if that's like incorrect but it's like a filler word that you just say like you know yeah <coughs> and recently I found out that a professor of communications of all topics um, uh, uh, was oh. was speaking no. uh, uh, cat wonky, a, get the fuck away from there oh you dickhead hey fuck off um, a professor I you believe you just throw him against the wall <laughs> He was speaking in Mandarin, and he was using this term just to communicate with Mm -hmm. his students. Some students got offended by this word and reported it to, I guess, the upper heads. (laughs) The the professor... The upper dickheads at USC were told of the perceived racism that wasn't racism. (laughs) The professor ends up getting laid off... And on top of that, the USC issues an apology to the students, I believe, or to the public. Wait, so let me just clarify for a second. Did the university issue an apology for firing the guy after they found out that they were the ones being racist? No, they issued an apology on behalf of... No, I guess not on behalf, but because the professor said that (coughs) word... They apologize to the public. Yeah, yo, fuck UFC. I'm um, yeah. UFC. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. No, not, not those guys. Those guys yeah. should go in and teach USC a bloody lesson No, or two. we should do some UFC we to should. USC. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 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 There you go. I think that's so, probably a better approach. And, and that's the shit that we have to live through. The, the fact that we even have to talk about this topic so is so no. disheartening. Oh, mm-hmm. It's so disheartening because that's the level of conversation that we're at now right in society is we can't even say a <laughs> word which has been around millennia by the way mm-hmm. and because it's similar to this one word yeah which is a horrendous fucking word guys well, it's a horrendous word used in like a horrendous context absolutely like you know if it's used by the people like in music and what have you right you know, it's like yeah and so who are we catering to? Like, who are these people? I want to know what they look like. Yeah, I, wa- I want to know where the political correctness you know, and thought. Like, like, that was just the decision-making process. What if, what if like, you drop uh, an item on the floor and it makes that sound? Are we not allowed to drop this item on the mm-hmm. floor anymore? What, like a child? Sure. And it just <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but it goes to that. It's like, it, it's not even, would you call it semantics? At that point? Yeah, I think it's a lot of... Semantics is something I find really interesting. And having been (coughs) listening... I've been listening, obviously, to a lot of Ben Shapiro recently as a result of the KABC show. And I would say a huge amount of his arguments, like, he can turn semantics into a really solid 12 to 15 minute segment. And literally all he's doing is arguing about semantics in context in Mm. relation to really hot button topics. So like transgenders, um, race, I guess, 
um just sexuality then i guess in general and like i'll listen to it and i'll be like he just made a really interesting argument based on semantics and then people will lose their absolute fucking minds see, over that shit do you think that's on purpose i th- no, I, yeah. I think the way that he phrases it is really intellectual and purposeful i think most people listening to it aren't smart enough to understand it mm. Mm. yeah what if you created that kind of platform in talk show radio, Jeez. right? Like, I don't think anybody is smart enough to understand Ben Shapiro, <laughs> except for you guys. But no, no, I, I honestly, I have to. Like you said, remember how you told me you have to rewind <coughs> mm-hmm. because he speaks so quickly. Right. I have to do this, uh, do the same thing. Mm. He t- he speaks so quickly. <clears throat> I th- I think a lot of his personal opinions and viewpoints, which are based on faith. And again, I don't think he should change them for him because he's not hurting anyone. I think a lot of that stuff I disagree with. But generally speaking, I think he's a fucking genius. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I think he's probably the smartest millennial I've ever witnessed in action. And what's sad is, like, I, I always hear the other side yelling at certain comments that we say. Like, basic comments like, Ben Shapiro is one of the smartest millennials that we know. Mm-hmm. And people will automatically... We don't know him personally. But yeah, we don't know him personally, <laughs> but even with that comment that saying that out loud, people mm-hmm. will automatically put us in a box, put a bow on it, and, and label us, yeah. oh, they're conservative, hence racist, hence bad people. And I think because we're all incredibly socially liberal people, like in and of ourselves, yeah. like we just are, I think the fact that like... I mean, I would actually, I would term us more as, like, social libertarian nihilists, if I was going to go with, like, any kind of description of our politics. But I don't think, I don't think politics exists in the realm that, well, like, there's there's no party that I think could really define how we approach things, because similarly to Ben Shapiro, but on, like, difference, I guess, in different policies... Like, I know, for example, like, he's really pro-life. Like, he does, like, march for... What's it, like, the march when, like, they go, like, protest abortion and shit. I have no idea. Yeah, like, he does all that kind of stuff, which obviously I'm, like, vehemently like, against. March for pro-life? I don't fucking know. March for, like... March for... March for, like, fucking ruining more children's lives by forcing them to be born into this horrendous world right. to mothers that didn't want them in the first place. But I love how he has a stance on pro-life when he's not a woman himself. I will say, though, I don't think abortion should be used as a form of contraception. I'm just going to throw that out there. And there is a well, huge argument in that that I want someone to engage me in one day. <laughs> That's the thing. But, that um, everything is so relative and subjective. Yeah. Right? Like... Hence, we live in America for these for these reasons, right? We want yeah. these freedoms to, to make these decisions for ourselves, for ourselves. But yet, dare I say it, we are still forced to wear masks. I mean, I think it's a, it's a, it's a touchy so, uh, topic, right? But we all wear masks when we go out. We uh, abide by the guidelines, but we we just have questions. We have a lot of questions with. I guess with the numbers and research that we, we we are all doing ourselves, but in that, in that, what's the terminology? In that of itself. In, in and of itself. In and of itself, it's kind of a black hole because how do we know the numbers that we're getting is like the actual truth? Yeah, I think that like it's really funny that most people, the even like most people we surround ourselves with, anyone who engages in the online world will like go to semantic arguments based on politics instead of going well you know what i actually am in a shitload of debt because i went to university and yet i still somehow have a lot of questions about this and yeah i'm gonna get angry at the person sitting next to me who's had just as little education as me but who i expect to know better than me for some fucking reason (laughs) and you know when we're here trying to like carefully walk around different subjects because we don't want to like alienate ourselves from like either side of the political spectrum our humanity is just lost in that like entire conversation like who we are as individuals Mm -hmm. doesn't matter in that world but we've like lived an experience that that's not the case like i think if we go out like when we were in utah where people weren't wearing masks but you know they were in restaurants if they were serving you but they weren't elsewhere like you know once you get over the fact like that that's a conversation you have your opinion we have ours Mm -hmm. Like, we can come to other, like, 
discussions but most people can't get over that first like political hump so we can't actually get to the fact that we haven't been presented with anywhere near enough data and education right to even have an opinion about politics but let's take it from <coughs> i guess the perspective from the model minority that actually believes in the pandemic right who believes that people might carry this awful disease let's say that's let's say we are that person that's basically if, if the second we walk outside then it's fucking terrifying then it mm -hmm. must be absolutely terrifying and so there's a part of me that can maybe understand why someone might yell at somebody put your mask on but the but time has passed right Time has passed and there are absolute numbers that we can see for ourselves. Experiences. We don't have a single family member nor friend that has even contracted this disease. Mm -hmm. And we live in like supposedly the biggest hot spot in the world for it or some shit. Right. What was my point? God, this is, this is why marijuana. Oh, so I guess, yeah, that's true. I may be smoking pot in this isn't great but what i guess I one one point that i think i was kind of drawing from your discussion was that for the person who steps outside and is absolutely terrified mm -hmm. there's like a wall up for them to like yeah. intellectually understand that there might like that what they perceive to be reality might be just a false narrative that's like fuck them through propaganda in the news media or whatever right so i guess did I just ruin it? Even? No, no, that was exactly on point. But like, how do you how do you <laughs> communicate with someone? That Tribalism, is so man. Tr right, and then you, you just you go back to tribes. And Let's you not talk to each other. That would be fine. That'd be amazing. That's but what I do. <laughs> I just don't talk to anybody. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, in your day to day, Danny, I don't think I've obviously you know because I wake up next to Lanny, and now that we've got the dog, like it's twenty four seven. But when you wake up in the morning. Like, do you roll over and immediately check your phone? If you do, what do you look at? Like, how does that kind of access to data occur in your day-to-day -day life? Um, when I wake up, you know what? Lately, I've been waking up and looking straight at my phone. Mm -hmm. Just in case texts come from either of you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. Regardless of working out or yeah, yeah, yeah. the job or, you know, mm -hmm. the show or the work. Yeah. But other than that... I don't usually I just go take a piss first <laughs> um, and then I just That's admirable mm -hmm. hang out with Sam yeah and then it's the best eventually I get to my phone but mm -hmm. yeah. yeah Sam is his uh, beautiful golden retriever Sam, Sam will probably join us for an episode or two we might yeah. have to give him some like heroin or something to calm him down but yeah dude he might knock over all this shit yeah yeah well maybe yeah we'll figure it out <laughs> Definitely on the road trip. On the videos, you'll see Sam. More videos yeah. of our trips away. Oh, but, Joshua um, Tree in a couple <coughs> of weeks. Yeah, yeah, we got to film all that. Um, and the cats. But yeah, I, I try to... I mean, don't get me wrong. I do sometimes catch myself on my phone a lot. Yeah. You know, for Instagram or whatever. But I try to disconnect myself as much as possible. Because of, you know, what were you guys talking about earlier? Like... It's just too much shit on yeah. social media. It's it's poisoning. <coughs> I didn't um I didn't realize how the algorithms like obviously, you know, in the back of my head, if I had like thought about it more deeply, I'm sure that I realized this was the case. But like the algorithms I guess that they use on social media and I guess this happens probably in the news as well. I don't know though, because I read the BBC and they're pretty like their metrics are pretty on point so like on the bbc app mm -hmm. even though fuck bbc bias i just want to put that out there um it's a british thing sorry guys mm -hmm. but what they'll do is they'll say like top stories most read and like if the top story is something like i don't know fucking like we've blown up something else on the gaza strip but we're blaming it on someone else again i don't fucking know um that might be like the quote top story but then you go on most read and it's like Meghan markle wore a dress and that's racist mm. and so i think it, i find that really interesting so it's almost like a metric for what people around the world on the bb like who read the bbc what they find to be important what they find right. to be interesting but then i go on social media and i think they've gotten rid of that feature now where you can see what other people are looking at 
I don't know, but what the, what they do is they track the algorithm to your behaviors, and so they'll try and catch you mm. in like the what's it called the perpetual scroll or whatever. I don't fucking know. It's probably got a different term mm. or different name. Um, and I will I'll catch myself, and then you'll get to a certain point, and I'll be like, okay, this is fake news. And the, after watching the social dilemma this morning, I caught myself on one of those kind of like eternal scrolls mm-hmm. on Instagram, just looking at real estate. And then I realized I'd seen the same property twice, and it was like the first one said it was in Connecticut. The second time it was like, oh, listed in, like I don't know, fucking Vermont or something, and it was Jeez. literally the exact same pictures. And I was like, holy shit, what else yeah. have I been exposing myself to? That is just absolute fucking horse shit. Mm -hmm. I went and checked all the political facts, though, and the stuff that I'm hinging my opinions on for this election, and they were pretty much on point. So that was my one, like, oh, thank fuck. But, yeah, I was... That was fucking terrifying. I definitely think disconnecting from the phone or just utilizing it for better stuff, like (coughs) other people's podcasts and music more Mm. than fucking social media. What is your opinion on the you know how celebrities they go on the um <coughs> the social media fasting yeah where they go to a remote location mm-hmm. for next amount of days what do you think about that i mean and, they, and then they stay off of social media no they usually come back but i've you know i've read online a few times where certain celebrities they do like these type of not even just celebrities, but, you know, yeah, people, they do social media fasting. But it's not just getting off your phone. Some people actually go to a remote location and uh, do it. I would love to do that for my birthday if you guys are down. Yeah. Like, we could literally do that in Utah. Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. Growing up in Europe with no money, <laughs> um, I didn't have a phone until really I moved out here. By the time I was like 22, that's when I got my first iPhone or whatever, and I could use all of these apps on the regular. My phone never worked abroad, and so every summer, me and my parents would like get into the camper van, and I would just be books and music and newspapers just all summer. Like I would never have access. Like I guess if I got to a campsite and there was a computer, I could use the computer there, but it would be dial up, and I could maybe check like two MySpace messages, and that would be it, and my money would run out. Mm. So, having not grown up with social media, I think it would be really doable. I just don't understand how any millennial in this town, in this kind of, like, field, can promote intellect. Like, I don't understand how you're supposed to, like, promote without social media. Right. That's the only area of my life that it has value for with me. And so, it's like, as soon as I make enough money, I'm fucking done. Mm -hmm. Like, what do I need it for? But what if, like, you were saying, like, you hire somebody to do it for you? Oh, you know yeah. What I mean? but that then comes before. It's almost like hiring. Uh, it's, it's, a, and it's, it's a very important assistant because that person kind of is controlling your image. Do you know Correct. what I mean? And My manager was supposed to do that. Yeah. And that's another topic we can <laughs> <laughs> dive deep into. But, um, Lenny, when did you um, get into social media? When I, s- I got really into it when I probably, I would say maybe, probably before I started my boxing business, just because there was a moment in time when, I would say like 2010 era, I would check it cons- like on a consistent basis, because one, either, either whether it was because of auditions or um, girls, you know, like girls that you liked, whether they mm-hmm. looked at your stuff or whatnot. Um that and then really when I started the business because it's the only way I knew how to kind of connect with the rest of the world right like advertising for free which was social media and it was because of social media that I you know started this new venture and without it I, I wouldn't have it but at the same time I dread being on it every day you know, because it's a constant one. And one, it's like a physiological thing too. It's almost like a habit. It's like a cigarette habit. It's almost. become a habit. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's you know, your body is absolutely in tune with this phone. Mm-hmm. We're basically cyborgs, you know, like literally, because the phone never leaves us. Yeah, yeah. 
Dan- yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I was just going to say, Danny, what do you look at most on social media, do you find? Other than porn. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, that's like 90% of what I watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, porn and cars. Usually. I think that's most men, though. Yeah, right? probably. Put them together. Um, porn on cars. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be our next venture. <laughs> when the podcasts don't work out. Uh, <laughs> Am I gonna find you guys on a porn site? Yeah, it's gonna be room, room. What's that thing? OnlyFans. I would set that oh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, imagine K on OnlyFans. Would you let K go on OnlyFans? Would I let? <laughs> <laughs> would I let? <laughs> yes, I would let her. Yeah. Shit. Damn, every feminist just like completely switched off. After she was done in the kitchen. Oh, oh, no, I'm kidding. oh my no, gosh, I I'm so what, kidding. Though, She's I'm, awesome in the kitchen. You you guys know this about me. It's not something I necessarily promote. Like that I I personally not saying that everyone should, but I personally subscribe to gender roles. But yeah, if you were like What does that mean by the way? It just means like I'm fine being the one who cooks. Like I don't mm. want to fucking work after we have kids. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, that, that, that shit. That, that was like this liberal statement of like I accept all. I mean, which I do. I mean, I do. I don't. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. But it's just getting to. I mean, how how many more letters are you gonna add to the LGBTQRS? I mean, LGBT? like I hope that by the time that this current generation that's being born, like my niece's generation, I hope they're the generation that just goes. No one fucking cares what you are. No one exactly. cares what you do for a living. Exactly. No one cares who you sleep with. Can you just exactly. like share your cocaine and be nice about it, please? And like, I, can you stop being a fucking twat and legalize all drugs? Yeah. And can we just admit that, you know, atheism isn't like, you know, you're not better than us. Like, right. And yeah. you, this goes to what you were saying before. As long as it doesn't lead into bad action, say whatever the fuck you want, right? Say That's the reason why want. America exists. But this, as soon as these heinous words become action, then we have an issue because you are probably limiting the freedoms of other living beings, not just human beings. Yeah. So right? it's and like you can be pro life, but you can also understand that some people who you share a country with might be pro-choice and just because you might not choose to have an abortion doesn't mean that you have the right to stop someone else from having one. Exactly. Yeah, and then people are like, about faith? And I'm just like, oh, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. <laughs> it's just like, I have faith too. I'm just, I don't use it to like, you know, dictate other people's lives who don't have my faith. Um, so uh, going back to the question for our uh, um, what zero porn do you look at? Our zero listeners out there, okay? Uh, do you have an OnlyFans? No, is that what we're gonna have to do next? I mean, we need we need new equipment, though. So. No, because <laughs> <laughs> post in the comments if you think I should start an OnlyFans, <laughs> and if you do, you have to also donate a thousand dollars. To my uh, on my personal website and my uh, bank account. Yeah, well, we'll like you know once we <laughs> pay off the equipment <laughs> and the show. Oh, that that sounded really bad. Yeah, like so. The money Lani's goes to gonna me gonna while she's <laughs> dancing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone's gonna listen to this back in the UK and be like, "Oh my God, Kay moved to America and got a really abusive pimp." <laughs> well, he is Korean. And the funniest I'm sorry, thing that's is, you're so the terrible. Oh. <laughs> we want him to do that. And you're it's the nicest joke. boyfriend I've had well, since moving out here. Well, I'm um, see. Yeah. There you go, lady. See that? That's the thing. It's <laughs> Korean men have a reputation. Uh-huh. Well, I would say. I would say he was the smartest. No. <laughs> well, trust me, not the first time you said that. Okay. No. But, um, oh my, I'm losing my train of thought. This is really bad. Well, it's because we're smoking really shitty yeah. weed. This is not shitty weed. It's really, r- compared to what we could be smoking, this is fucking dreadful. I it's just a good price right now. It's the You know what it is? The Humboldt has too many uh, uh, twigs in it. I, I try to cut most of them out. Wait, yeah. Danny, did we actually determine what you what you look at on you social should. media? No, um, usually it's houses. Like yeah. Like real mm-hmm. estate. <coughs> is that because I'm sending them to you or because um, you're looking? <laughs> no, I mean like houses, a lot of interior, mm-hmm. interior McGregor. design. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, <laughs> 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 if my friends hear this, they're going to they're gonna fucking laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge Conor McGregor fan. Like if huge. your friends oh, uh, don't listen to this, are they really friends? Like he's such a big fan that like he, he walks like Conor McGregor when he goes to Vegas. Oh, straight up. Like that's all he does. <laughs> Oh, 
actually no I'll, I'll, I'll say it after oh yeah so what? uh real estate interior cars for sure yeah um uh, women for sure mm-hmm. um a lot of food <laughs> oh. a lot of food like you know yeah. all the foodie stuff mm-hmm. um and tech stuff not like not like um not that i'm really into it but i i do want to know like if there's anything new coming out that's mm. useful so i do follow like the tech guys and stuff like that um <laughs> and like um uh you know when like some tech um pages they upload like or they post like updates for the next airpod pro two three whatever mm-hmm. like those things i try to keep up with that too okay oh that's yeah. super cool um, i didn't know you were into that yeah that's what i'm into and then what i was gonna say was did you see the news yesterday about conor mcgregor no wait no. what um he was arrested <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah for what but he was released again for what um for being i was about to be really racist then but i didn't let me let me let me read it to you right now. I love that we have to say out loud how proud we are of ourselves. I say I say we. I have to say out loud how so proud I am. So Conor McGregor has been arrested in Corsica. Mm. Where's Where's Corsica? Corsica is this little island in the Mediterranean. I've spent a lot of time in Corsica. It's a lovely place. The first time I ever swallowed chewing gum was in Corsica. Okay. Thank God you said chewing gum. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he was arrested in Corsica <laughs> yeah. for indecent exposure. Oh, that's so funny. No, okay, so he wasn't actually arrested. Probably what happened was the police, like, were fans, saw that it was Conor McGregor, saw that he was probably walking around, like, around near his, like, villa or whatever, naked. And Maybe. they were like, let's go and arrest him so we can say that we met and arrested Conor McGregor mm. because Corsica is corrupt as hell. Fuck. Oh. The union he was released. Oh, no wonder you spent so much time there. Also, yeah. it's run. <laughs> oh shit! You know what? There's also so the Corsican mafia are also mafia. fucking huge. Mafia. The Union Corse. They're like the French Corsican mafia. Okay, shut up. Sorry. The mafia. Um, no, but they're like a big deal. Maybe he's maybe he's actually just in with the Corsican mafia. Mm. I'm gonna start that rumor right here. You well, heard it here first, folks. This he's doing a uh, big lie. He's doing something with the uh Yuri Kose? No, he has a thing going on with the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Indy? Uh he's under the table, I think. Mm. Indy. Yeah, his butt. His his bum is just sticking out the end. It's a little see? bum. Let's see his bum. See, Prince uh Princess Charlene of Monaco. 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 Oh, that's gonna stick. Where are we going this summer, folks? Club We're Monaco. going to You know what I wear? <coughs> Club Monaco. You know where I dance? Uh, Club Monaco. He is uh it, within a couple of days he's going to do a hundred kilometer uh sea bike. What? What the fuck is a, a sea bike? bike? There's a sea bike. I've been oh. on a, <coughs> I've been is on the sea tractor. Is that the dirt bike that can go on water? Sh- that's not a no, thing. It's, it's no, basically it's a like thing. a little rafter looking thing that has pedals like a bike. And then Oh shit. Yeah. Like the Why one the you the fuck like, is he doing that? Wait, the one like the ones you ride at MacArthur Park, like for like the couples and shit? I have no idea. No, I've never seen probably it. not. That's but, he's um, gonna die. Yeah, what? from Corsica to uh Monaco Monaco. <laughs> 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 Monaco. Um <laughs> I say, I'll, I'll say I'll say I'll say it. Thirty hours of com- completion. Thir- thirty hours for completion. Of yeah, community he's service. gonna die. He's doing it today, actually, September twelfth. Oh shit! Well, that was yesterday. Uh, with Princess Charlene of Monaco. 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 Fucking Christ. <laughs> Monaco. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna name my child Monaco. Working diligently to promote water safety and ocean hygiene. Yo, apparently it's like sexual assault and indecent exposure oh, that he was done uh, for. Yeah, he denies the claims, but no, really. Yeah. Wait, who was the ones? Who was the? Uh, he d- who's I the mean, assaulted? I have no idea. Anyway. <laughs> oh well. Do we know the gender? Because I feel like that's the first question we should ask. <laughs> In this day and age. I mean, can we talk about a gender reveal that literally burned down our fucking oh, state? Oh, uh, whoever you are, I don't even know, like. I don't need. I, do, do we know the name? Probably not. Probably right? Cause not. Because they'll probably get murdered. Because they'll probably get murdered, yeah. yeah. But I mean. You're probably not listening, so to you and your family, 
Thank you for nothing. Literally, like we, you know how last year we lost that town, Paradise or whatever. I think it was called Paradise. Was it that last year or the year before? Like Paradise, uh, para- like Paradise Cove. No, like a whole town burned down in California. Like the whole town, none of it was left. So that's happened like several times over this year already, and it's not who's, even. Who's getting the insurance money on that? Jeez. Oh, I would actually put money on Gavin Newsom making money from this situation. Wow. Gavin Newsom. Another hot button topic. He looks like um, Fire Marshal Bill with hair. I think he looks like a right? cunt. Do you remember Fire Marshal Bill? Jim Carrey in Living Color? No, but I actually know a Fire Marshal named Bill. Completely different story. <laughs> 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 Bill Wilson from Vernon. Hey, hey, th- hey, Bill. He's probably working really hard right now, so kudos to you. Yeah, Thank let's you give a much. huge shout out to Bill. And if Bill has any social media, go look him up and donate money to it. But then get the fuck off social media immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but make sure to follow us. <laughs> 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 yeah, Bill's probably having a fucking shitty, horrible time right now. Oh, Bless speaking him. of, I read a uh, news article, I believe it was. Um, I don't know what it was, but <coughs> someone <coughs> found a fireman's missing wallet and they wiped out his bank account while he was fighting the fire. No. Yeah. Yep. Wow. I bet it was a what vagrant. A, what a piece of shit. Yep. What a cancerous what a little piece fuck. of shit. That's the world we live in. Welcome well, to California, ladies and specifically gentlemen. Specifically, Los Angeles. Yeah, fuck land of dreams, literally Jesus on fire. Christ. Yeah, it's the land of dreams if you're okay with being like horrifically sexually abused, burned alive, or like <laughs> shaken to death. Sounds like um, the um, hell. No, what the Salem stories? Jesus. The Crucible. Tomato, tomato. Just kidding. Someone out there just got really mad. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus, fuck! This weed is so bad. Should we give him a shout out? Okay. Wait, who? What were you talking about? We're talking about the fires. You got lighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna hear the cats in the background a lot throughout all of the recording. Yeah, it's okay though. Yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah. <coughs> Plus, they're pretty cute. Yeah. Yeah. Follow Wonky Creature on social media and then get off social media. Um, follow my dog Sam. Dude, what, what the, the fuck, fuck Sam? Sam? It's dude WTF Sam. Yeah. I think about that handle a lot. I've come to realize mm-hmm. it's really fucking good. It's one. F- it's fucking wonderful. It's so good because I hear it in your voice, mm-hmm. dude. What the fuck, dude, Sam? What the fuck, yeah. Sam? Dude, I say it every day. Sam? I say it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I say it every day. What did Sam do today that was fucked up? <laughs> we should have a Sam story every episode. Uh, yeah, last, last well, today I didn't get to see. I didn't really get to play with Sam because oh. I had to go out biking. But yesterday, again, when I um, accidentally left the uh, smaller bathroom door open and he tore up everything <laughs> inside the tra- trash can. Are you serious? Yeah, just all the uh, <laughs> toilet paper and all the boxes, or like whatever uh, was in there. Just that tears everything up. Last time you told me he ate your um, controller button. Yeah, he ate my uh, PS4. PS4 controller button. The R R one button. Yeah, he uh, he completely ripped my Dyson fan wire. Oh shit. He he completely ripped my my new Sony camera. Oh shit, uh, that's right. The handle handle wire. Yeah, handle wire that connects to the camera, so I could press record from the the handle. Well, I don't know what it's called. He ripped that too. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. But we still love him, even though we're Korean and we're And then I say, dude, what the fuck, Sam? And he just lays down, looks up at me with those puppy eyes, and just wags his tail. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he does. <laughs> yeah, every single time it works. And then it works. <laughs> and then I just laugh and I say, hey, come here. <laughs> <laughs> How old is he now? Uh, today, uh, September, so um, a year and ten months. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, wow. He's when's his birthday? November twenty-first. Oh, so he's only three months <coughs> older than Indy. How the fuck do you guys know when your pet's birthdays exactly are? Isn't it February? I, th- I think it's uh, February. It's February. <laughs> 
No, it's just are a we, video I sent. Are we boring you already, Danny? No. Remember I went biking today. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was a long ride. And actually, we've barely eaten today as well. I don't even want to know what I look like. Shit. You look great. Shut up. <laughs> I look like Asian Jeffrey Dahmer. You look pretty high, okay? I'm f- I'm really high right now. Yeah. I've been high pretty much since we woke up this morning because it's yeah. my only day off. But of course, mm. I had to fucking do emails and shit as mm. soon as I got up because some fucking cunt's trying to get another fraud case against our fucking company. Fucking cunt. Oh. Actually, it's more of a fraud case against her. I guess just fucking stupid people like getting their work and then being like, I'm gonna charge the money back. And it's like, well, then I'm gonna get my fucking work back, dipshit. For a little context here, uh, Kay writes people's dissertations. They write people's PhDs, yeah, man. It's what? an actual thing. Yeah. Fucked up thing is, of course it works in America, right? I you do it for the Brits and the Saudis a lot too. Oh, but I wonder though, but the thing is, in America, it's legal to obviously use this company but right. if the school finds out that they use this company their all their accolades get mm. ripped no some and some it's some it's some. Ca- it's a case by case basis oh, if you get us to literally happen. fabricate your findings and shit which people ask us to do a lot oh, wow. which i don't i don't actually i don't think i've ever actually done that mm. but people do i don't know man it's fucking crazy not that fucking Anyone's ever gonna listen. Why to why do people do that? Why do hire why do people hire someone like you to do that? Before COVID, it was mostly people who like literally just were not intelligent enough to become a doctor. Like there was just a fucking block there and they had reached as far as they could reach in their mm. academic success. Oh, wow. Like a PhD isn't fucking easy. Like I f- once you know how to do it, the technicalities makes it a shitload easier. Mm. But I would say the technicalities on top of being an expert, it's, I don't, like, f- I don't even know how I fucking do it sometimes. And I, you know, I, you know, don't think I do that well all the time. But, um, like, now it's mostly, like, I would say veterans who are being called back out on duty um and who are like resigning because they've like lost their jobs because of covid mm. single moms who have lost their jobs because of covid or who are having to like work 12 jobs now because of covid like now it's all like legit experts who need to graduate but literally don't have the time to learn the glorified paperwork that is the dissertation that, that, that's understandable yeah, yeah so i'm like cool with it now that's why i yeah that's why I, I do enjoy my job, but not on Sundays. Like, I need a day away from people's fucking complaining. <laughs> <laughs> and they all watch Lenny. my, like, Dr. Lenny, do you have a, uh, Sorry. No, okay. it's, no, it's okay. Lenny, do you have a uh, master's? Or a PhD? I'm s- wow. I, I find that a compliment just you asking me that question. No, I do not. Oh, okay. Don't you have, like, an associate's? <laughs> or a bachelor's? A bachelor's. You yeah. have a bachelor's? Yeah, associate's is less than a bachelor's. I know. <laughs> I didn't know what you had, I, babe. The sock puppets. What do you have <laughs> in what? Uh, theater and uh, communications. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Communications. Uh, theater broadcast, and broadcast journalism. Oh. Bro- broadcast journalism and theater. Oh, okay. I will say, before we met in person, and you told me mm-hmm. that y- that was your degree, I was like, oh, that's pretty sexy. I don't know why what? I fucking judged you for broadcast that shit. Why journalism. the fuck is that sexy? Because it Cause is. He did, like, oh journalism in new york like that's so fucking like you know i'm a brain person i'm uh, a sapiosexual you know what i learned not to mumble and to enunciate oh okay so i should fucking do that literally <laughs> 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 no danny should be that of a uh explanator <laughs> 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 that one explains he, he explains things very very simplistically i should very nicely say <laughs> He was trying to describe. Um, I, I, you gotta kind of see it. Yeah, that's the thing. With my explaining, mm-hmm. no one can understand. Oh, because it's so. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm saying the listeners won't be able to understand right, right. your explanation because you have to see it. Because you have to see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a, he how do we get him? How does this? Well, he was basically using his hand and two fingers, right? His fingers were that of legs, and his hand, palm up. 
was <laughs> that of something that to walk on, right? He goes, you know that thing, you know, and he proceeds to use his fingers and you know, as if he was walking yeah. across his thing across the palm of his hand. I'm like, what? <laughs> he goes, you know, when you walk on that thing, he goes, I'm like, where's the thing? He goes, you know, on the water. I'm like, oh, the the pier. He's like, no, 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 no. You walk. You walk where, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> on the thing, on the water. He goes, oh, the docks, the docks. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking lost it. I was dying. I was like, holy shit. Because he was actually trying. <laughs> what's that What's that game that we played at um, Kenny's house? Oh, like the really fast um, charades one. Is this charades that we're playing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's charades. We just played oh, the one where everyone gets so insecure and starts blaming the public. <laughs> is that, is no. That <laughs> okay. Oh. He, we had a fight once because he said that I didn't know how to have fun when we both know that Lanny is the one here who refuses to have fun. <laughs> you just get angry. Yeah, I get frustrated. Yeah. I'm sorry. No. No. To, nah. <laughs> so I don't know how Lanny is the nicest person. <laughs> <met>. <laughs> no, he's the nicest boyfriend. He's not a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, take nice boyfriend. I'll take that. I'll There's take a difference. That. I There's think a it's, difference. Yeah, like, I think, you know, I, I say some pretty heinous shit in private, like, as a joke. Right. You know, and I try to make it as dark as possible because, you know, I like Amanda <coughs> and Uchi's comedy. And I like Hunter S. Thompson. Well, you like Amanda Nunez comedy? You know, no. You know, She's a Death UFC of Stalin. Fighter. You know, Death of Stalin. We yeah. watched it the other day. That guy. His name is Amanda Nunez? And no. <laughs> Amando. Amando. Yanucci. Amando or, or Armando? I, I, Armando. Armando. Huh. Armando. <laughs> Goddamn accent. Racist. Armando. It's pronounced Armando. Okay, but he's not fucking American. The language American. your people inter- introduced to us. And I am still learning, apparently. Yeah, dude, and you're from Cincinnati. Uh, just born there, and I moved to LA as a month old. That's Thank you very that, much. Like Thank okay. the flipping what, okay. lordies. But what's worse, though, being raised in LA or being raised in Cincinnati? Would you, wouldn't you be back in Cincinnati if you had a choice? Well, let's say you had a choice now between LA and Cincinnati. Cincinnati honestly, from what I've from what I've heard from my cousins and my families, that's a fuck no. You know what my cousin calls it, although. I understand why my my cousin is named Carlos, born in Buenos Aires, but fucking was raised in Cincinnati. So you can only imagine. He calls it Cincinnati. I the mean, only good thing about Cincinnati is the Gold Star Chili, so I'm not to interrupt you. Okay, but like, what do we like about L.A. again? Well, see, L.A. has changed so much. If I had a choice now, if honestly, if, if I could see what Cincinnati was like, mm-hmm. I'd probably like it there better just because... I'm sure the. How, how, what, what should I say? I'm sure the people are just as fucking dumb, and ignorant, but I think there'd be more of a community aspect because it's not infiltrated by Hollywood. Mm. Yeah, you there's know? no social quiet <coughs> pressure. Yeah, mm-hmm. but then you think about social media, and I can only imagine what that does to a small town. But uh, wait. Yeah. Danny, mm. where would you live? Because you're born and raised in LA. Mm-hmm. Where would you live if you had to live outside of California? Mm-hmm. Where would you live in the US? God, um, I mean, the most enjoyable and relaxing time I've had so far was in Utah. Oh, so yeah. for now, I would say Utah. I I've been to other states. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Louisiana, Washington, but for work, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't have time to relax. Um, so for now, I would say Utah, specifically Apple Valley, Utah. Yeah, yeah it was very cool. Yeah, or St. George. I liked Hurricane. Yeah. Wait, St. George wasn't sorry in Utah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. St. George, they're all like, just basically all just one big old area. Yeah. Yeah. It was the That's what we call a conurbation or a megalopolis if it gets too big. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I just wanted to throw in some science in there. Thank you. Yes, I don't understand what the fuck Me that neither. Was. Thank yeah. you for that. That was yeah. pointless. Shut the fuck up. Lenny the other day. What is clouds? No, I was speaking <laughs> on terms of are we able to f- man make clouds in order to create water? Because what are we going through, Kay? A fire. Specifically, twenty-four fire, probably more than that. 
I think it's a lot more than that now. Uh, but I was going to say, Utah was the ideal fucking trip because, one, we needed an, we needed an escape from the city. It kind of gave us a perspective on kind of what kind of life we wanted to live, I guess. And the off-roading. Mm-hmm. And the ghost towns. Remember those two? We came across this cemetery. And on the tombstone, it listed the family members and how they died. And mm-hmm. remember two of the children it said, quote, in parentheses, killed by Indians. Yeah. Right? And then Kay, I think Kay was like, nah, they probably got killed by the priest or something. Yeah, no. probably. <laughs> <laughs> they probably just got, like, eaten. It was probably just, like, a really slow month. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucked Positive up. Positive for us. <laughs> we so had a great time, though. There was a bunch of cows. That almost attacked Kay because she was being disrespectful no, to the cows. I wasn't being disrespectful. I was being overconfident because there were a lot of cows where I grew up. And yeah. I don't know why because... Did you eat a piece of steak before, right before you went to town? <laughs> I think we all did. Mm-hmm. Specifically a tomahawk. Oh my god. Two tomahawks in one trip. That's fucking that's living. Honestly, like We that, suck at being vegan. I wonder what your tomahawk would taste like if you got a tomahawk from Apple Valley. Mm. Yeah, maybe. We should do that next time. Oh, we should have done that. Damn. Well they do get it from a different state as well. No. Where do they say Texas? No, they got it from no, it was like, local. they it was got local. it from down the road. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. It was it was from out of state. Oh. But there was it was a specific Hi. farm. Hey, buddy. Oh, I love this guy. Indy's coming in. Say hi. Uh, that's uh, fifty-three minutes. Holy what shit! Do you, what do you guys say? I'm down. I got a pee. Yeah. Real yeah. bad. Should we call it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Da, 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 da. Thank you guys for listening. Whoever listens to this, and um, this is the. LDK project. Do, do, bo, do, 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 do. Pew, 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 pew. How does it go? Ba, 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 ba. Da, da, na, 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 Okay. Alrighty. Na, 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 na. Bye. Bye. Bye.